hey, hey. No one else is being picked up by a guy in a reptar suit. I was just thinking the same thing. Welcome to Paris. I've been asked to take you directly to Euro Reptar Land. Out of my way, babies! The prettiest, smartest, bestest girl gets the front seat! So why is she in such a hurry? Mm -hmm. Her tummy's all bubbly. Uh, don't worry, though. I got your bag. <laughs> Pokio sure looks a different on TP, huh? Pokio? Don't you know nothing? This is Paris! You babies are as dumb here as you are at home. Wee oui, wee! Oui. Except him, he's speaking French already. Welcome to Euro Reptile. Yay! Reptile! Et voila, our Parisian pied à terre. Pretty posh digs. Ah, the beds are quite comfortable. Yeah? Incoming! <laughs> oh! <laughs> and so is the floor. Ah! It's the most beautiful party I ever seen. I'm a diaper man myself. Ah! <laughs> wow! A potty that squirts you back! <laughs> I don't know you guys. I squirt myself enough already. We're off to the boutiques. Okay, it's time to meet Ms. LaBouche, the woman who made all this possible. Shall we? <laughs> well, Chaz, it looks like you, me, and the kids. Wee oui, wee, oui, Boda B. <laughs> the party was nice, the party was open. And everybody had an uproar. Until the fellas started in calling. And the girls respond to the call. I have a poor one shot. to have a Japanese theme park in the middle of Paris. That's a new century. Just go with Le Flo. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. bonjour. Welcome to Yoro Reptar. And one of you must be Mr. Pickles. That would be moi. <laughs> and this is my good friend, Charles Finster. And this is my son, Chucky. Hi, Chucky. Oh, I like your bear. What sweet children. Is this your first time in Paris? Well, France, yes. But see, I've been to Paris, uh, Texas, and other ah. If the Bob Father had anything to do with this. Come on, Chucky! It's a wady pool! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they look hungry! Must be lunchtime! Huh? I give you a jungle, I'll just leave no fingerprints. <laughs> no! Where did those filthy little bookends come from? <laughs> oh, what have you done to my priceless collection of gold fish? I told you to get the piranha. Jean-Claude, call the dog catcher! The exterminator, do something! Oui, madame. Kiron! Come along, children. Um, madame, Mr. Pickles is here. Oh, good. Send in the clown. Oh, if it isn't a brilliant designer. Well, I wouldn't say brilliant. 
Neither would I. Why don't we take the babies to see the princess parade while they get better acquainted? Oh, the kids would love that. See this face? I never want to make this face again! <gasps> now get to work. I'll have it working in no time. Mechanical expertise is my middle name. Then your first name should be I have no. Sorry to interrupt your episode, but it's the boss on the phone. <laughs> oh, Monsieur Yamaguchi, so nice to see you. As you know, I'm stepping down as president of Yamaguchi Industries, and I've begun a search for my replacement. Splendid. I accept. You are one of the many under consideration. But uh, I have made millions for this company. The candidates should not be concerned only with money. They must understand what it means to bring joy to children. In fact, they themselves must have the heart of a child. I must have one in a jar somewhere. In fact, I'm engaged to a wonderful man with a baby thing all his own. Ah, <laughs> congratulations, madame. I look forward to attending the wedding and seeing you with your new family. We'll discuss the promotion then. Goodbye. What now, Pinocchio? Years of clawing my way to the top gone to waste. Why am I not some child's tender mother? Why? 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 <laughs> because you hate children and men find you to be a heartless shrew? Mm, there has to be a spineless little man with a brat of his own somewhere out there. Bonjour. <gasps> My chocolates are in her little American stomach! Chocolate, get them back! Open wide. Say, ah! No, wait! You have five seconds to come up with a reason why I should not lock you up forever and ever. Um, because I can stick five raisins up my nose and I can sing real good and forever and ever is a really long time. Tick tock. And I know where you can find a spiny little man with a brat of his own? I think. <laughs> I just made a friend. Wow! Isn't this neat, Chucky? I don't know. There's something kind of weird about a guy in a ponytail and a dress. Golly, Kira. You're a natural. <laughs> well, I have a beautiful little girl to thank for that. Kimmy. She's almost two. So's my Chucky. I mean, not a girl, I mean, but, well, you know. Oh, look, the princess is coming. Once upon a time, there was a mighty dinosaur named Reptar. <gasps> Everyone ran away from him, except the beautiful princess. She was not afraid because she could see that Reptar was not vicious. He was lonely and unhappy. So she promised to take care of him and keep him safe and loved forever and ever. Forever and ever.